Hi, this is Frankie from About Script, and in this video we're going to learn how to use uh, Knockout.js custom bindings. So we've been using things like our value and our um, CSS and all sorts of bindings like that and our click handlers and all that, but what if we wanted to create our own? What if we wanted a binding called size that would adjust the size of this little guy here? Well, we're going to learn how to do that. To start, I just made an input. Uh, with the type of range, which is why we have this nice little slider here. And I also imported an image into the project that is just a simple SVG so we can scale it nicely. So the first thing we need to do is come over into our JavaScript code, and usually we'd create a different file for this. However, in this case, we're just going to put it at the top of this one. Now we type ko, I'm going to increase our zoom here, ko.binding handlers, and then uh, after the dot we put the name of our handler. So for example, if I want to have size, I put size. We do an equal sign and we create a new JavaScript object. Now we need to declare either one or two functions here. Um, both of them are optional and they are initiate and update. However, we just want update because we don't really have any initialization code that we need to do. So we're going to make that a function. And it takes uh, four parameters, however you don't need to have all of them. The first one is an element. And this is going to be whatever our binding is on. And the second is uh, our value accessor, which is sort of a strange thing, but um, we'll understand how that works very shortly. So the first thing that we usually do is say um, var value equals value accessor. We call that, and that's going to give us a value, or that's going to give us the observable for the value. And then we, to be safe, use ko.utils.unwrap observable and we feed that our value accessor. So that's a strange bit of code, but you just have to learn it and or copy and paste. Copying and pasting is always okay. So then what we do is now our value will be whatever was in the observable that was bound to our element. So we're just gonna quickly create our binding and we're gonna say that we want our size to be guy size. Now we take our guy size and put it into our view model. So we can get rid of all this stuff from last time. Self dot guy size is a new ko dot observable. And we can give it a default value such as 100. And he's going to be 100 pixels wide and 100 pixels tall. However, we haven't written any code that does that, and knockout doesn't give us anything that will do that um, for us. So um, we take our value, which we've decided we want it to be a number. So then we should say um, their size is our value plus the pixel unit. And to apply it to our element, we and element dot height equals size. So every time that we change this guy size observable here, we want it to update our element's width and height with this new size. So in order to demonstrate that, we're going to data bind our input and say that the value of it is going to be guy size. You see we have the range set to Let's reload this page and see if that works for us. Now it's not working, so let's see exactly what is going on here. If we go into here, we have our elements. We should see whether or not our range is working, and we see that our width and height are being set to zero. So if we come into our um, model over here, we can first, using Chrome Inspector's handy tools, 
check what the value of this is and we see it's 174 and then we can say what is our app dot guy size and that's also 174 note that it is a string and that shouldn't be a problem considering we're just adding a suffix to it so we're going to come in here and do some more debugging with console.log size keep in mind that i didn't test this out first but learning debugging is always good to know and we see if we change this that it's updating it every time what if we were to say style dot width perhaps it would like this a little bit more and pop that in okay so it seems we were just trying to do something that it didn't like but now we can adjust our slider and in real time it's updating the size of our guy something that we wouldn't otherwise be able to do in knockout without writing really ugly code and now we could use this and apply it to a million different things just by saving this very short function into a different file and importing it into all of our projects which is something called a library so enjoy this and if you like this guy i just made him very quickly um in uh a SVG editor, so I'll include a link to him in the description.